Hi everyone, Arjun on page today and this video is for Donna. You asked me to do a page about the roses you've seen on my Facebook page, so it's for you. I'm working in my in my sketchbook uh, journal. Uh, my page is not gessoed. I'm going to start with just putting some color in the background. I need it to be neutral and I will add color later on. I'm going to use some uh, gray, this, this is slate grain, gray uh, from deco art and I've got here some white, something from the cheap store and I'm going to use a sponge, I'm putting a little bit of water on the sponge, it's just easier to work this way and I'm starting with the white and yes you <laughs> you can't see it white on white but it's there and then I'm dipping a little bit into the gray and now they are going to mix and I will need a lot more white because this is too much the gray is a little bit uh, too dark for me so I need to be careful and again picking up some gray I'm also uh, moving my sponge so it won't be the same uh, let's say print over and over again and I'm just laying down some neutral background I am also looking for interest and that there won't be a pattern that going over all and over again that's why I'm moving the sponge as I go and I need it to be lighter here so just adding more white now this white is quite runny so it, it's giving me trouble I'll just switch to another one to a heavy bodied a acrylic paint I can also use gesso just going around and blending and mixing I want the edges to be darker so I'm picking more of the gray and dabbing where the edges are but basically I'm finished with laying down the cover for my page so now this needs to dry and we are going to move on there is going to be at least one rose or some kind of abstract flower on this page and I want to show you how to make it and it's so simple moving this so it won't uh, be in the way moving this also okay so I will show you what I've done this is one of my junk journals and it just was from two, uh, several pieces of three inch circles that I had on my uh, desk and these are from punched from uh, book jackets and it doesn't have to be from book jackets you can do uh, from any kind of painty papers you have what you do need is for each flower uh, two circles and it's better if you have a darker one and a lighter one the same thing for uh, this kind of uh, leaves it's better if you have two uh, colors it's more interesting also for this to be interesting it's better that uh, you don't use a solid color if this will be a solid color it would be less interesting now you can also make your own painty papers 
you can use scrapbook paper magazine pages whatever you like I'm even thinking like a um, graphic magazines uh, it really is whatever you have now I'm not going to do the same uh, exact thing I've done here because it would be boring <laughs> for me so I want my uh, flower let's see I've got here more and it doesn't you don't even have to have a, a three inch punch these are from a, this kind of punch you don't need to have this kind of thing if you want you can trace any circle object and make a circle and it doesn't even have to be like this you can take any kind of paper you want just draw some circle it doesn't need to be symmetrical and I'm going to show you this is a page from a magazine just drawing cutting the circle as I said it really doesn't need to be symmetrical because we are going to cut this in, into pieces now I'm going to make this is quite freehand that's how I made the flowers but I want you to show you how I've done it and I'm going to take this piece and let's see so you will see what I'm doing basically each time I've cut a shape like this and another one and just continued to cut this kind of shapes and it, there is no uh, there's no science to it there is no measurement <laughs> you just keep on uh, cutting whatever you want now for uh, the leaves or uh, the stems it doesn't have to be a circle it can be a shape something like that and again just cutting this kind of thing like this so moving this aside I am going to do the flower I think from this I really like this uh, and as I said I need two uh, colors for my flower someone at the door I'll be back I'm back so there's going to be <laughs> a noise in the back all the families here and I'm in an open floor that and everything from downstairs is just like an echo up here so I hope there won't be too much noise so I played with the circles I have I decided that these two are going to be the leaves stems whatever it's like playing with swatches and uh, so and i decided that i want my flower from this but i needed another a uh, color so i just uh, cut two circles from this ed for kitchens it really doesn't matter you just need to uh, look at it as a color because this is going to be cut out it doesn't matter if you have a kitchen here so that's what's going to comprise uh, my flower and I'm going to start cutting and I'm, I want you to see the first one just so you will get a hang of what I've uh, showed you there's going to be lots and lots of this kind of shape I think that the more crooked <laughs> and not symmetrical the shapes are the better the flower I don't know why just my opinion probably won't go won't go so well with <laughs> someone who has OCD <laughs> but do what feels right uh, to you so I'm just playing here with the shapes and 
think I've got this so I'm putting this aside and now for the other one that is going to be my flower again just freehand cutting so I'm going to stay, continue cutting these shapes and I'll be back I'm back so I've got lots of pieces like this and now you just need to uh, just play with them until you are satisfied with what you have again this there is no uh, <laughs> no recipe no one way to do it it's just putting down pieces and having fun with it and they can also um, overlap uh, one another the only thing i do try is that i won't have the same color uh, next to each other so there will be interest and let's see of course towards the center it will be a um, <laughs> smaller pieces <laughs> and now i need something for the uh, inside so i'm just going to cut this piece i still got lots of a uh, these shapes cut but I'll use it for something else maybe another one no I think I will leave it as is and I'm going to start gluing and the same thing is going with the two uh, greens that I've cut again this is just playing wherever you feel it's needed So something like that is going to happen here <laughs> and I'm going to play with it, I'm going to, to glue it and then we'll continue to the next phase. I'll be back. I'm back here is my flower now I want to add some color to the background and something a little bit more here I'm going to use gelatos you can use whatever a uh, translucent a uh, paint you have you can use watercolors diluted acrylics a uh, chalk pastels uh, whatever you have so I'm just want to uh, add a little bit of color and Nope, not this one. Let's see. And I also. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want. Okay, so I'm just putting a randomly a color in several places. This is. I, I'm not sure what what this is, but it reacts a. The same as a uh, gelatos. Let's see. No. Just a little bit of this. It's supposed to be this, I don't know, lilac, and it turns like a uh, pink. Don't know why. I'm going to activate this uh, with. A baby wipe and just a little bit I want to add a little bit to my flower so I'm going to start and I will add as I go along if it will need anything else so just a baby wipe and very gently just adding like a wash or a tint to the background 
it's not supposed to cover just adding like a wash that's the best <laughs> explanation I can give you okay I think I need a little bit more here maybe this one would be yeah just again a darker in the edges just going to continue This uh, purple uh, from the gelato set is so uh, <laughs> intense, I'm trying to use it very lightly. harsh line between the darker and the, the edges that I made more dark than the whole page so I'm just tapping with my uh, baby wipe and mixing it in so now only here in in the middle of my flower a little bit Oops. I need to put a little bit more glue here, but otherwise it's okay. So just a little bit of glue. Now I'm going to let this dry before I continue because I want to do a little bit of stamping and then we'll call it <laughs> done. I'll be back. I'm back and I want to do some stamping to add to the details in the back I've got this uh, spiral uh, stamp that I made from a thick craft foam and this was made with soldering iron and I'm going to try let's we just want to make sure yeah I'm not looking for a perfect uh, print, I'm not looking for something that will steal from the rest of, from my focal image. This is just, I'm using a, a less great <laughs> ink pad just for this purpose because it's not great and it will give me like a ghost print here that won't overwhelm my page. quite random and I'm going to switch to this one and let's see it's more of a ghost print than anything else Finished with this, I want some text in the back. And now I'm taking Momento Tuxedo Black. And again, this is going to be quite random.
Yeah. And I still think I need something more in the border. So let's see. I've got some uh, some saying, but it really doesn't matter what this, it says. I am going to stamp it just to add interest. Uh, it says, "Breathe in deeply and let your life unfold." I'm going to go around the edges with this saying. You don't have to have this kind of stamp. You can just do some uh, like caressive uh, writing around. You see, it just adds some detail to the edges. It really doesn't matter if you can read it or not, what it's saying. Okay, here we go, and I want some, one word or two, something here, or here, I don't know, and let's see, or well, maybe I've got here, from the same stamp set, I've got here, be strong, be beautiful, be fearless, that's good. <laughs> I'm not sure how uh, visible it will be, but I will know it's here, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. <laughs> here we go. So that's my page. Let's remove this just. Yeah. So that's my page. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see all the details. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.